Happy Tuesday, you guys. It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, talk, yeah. talk, talk about it. Talk about it. Boop, boop. With margaritas. <laughs> yes. And Beth. And oh. Steph. Boop. There we go. And our names magically appear. Yeah. Have you <laughs> missed us? Did you even, like, miss us last week? I'm sure you did. Yeah. Just tell us that you did, because we won't know otherwise. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's so much to talk about. There is. Um, and we're going to talk about some April things happening for kids Yay. in Huntsville and the Rocket City. Um, but first, we have to uh, let you know we've changed the show a little bit. Mm -hmm. We are now monthly instead of weekly, because this thing called life... Yeah, it's so strange when you have kids. Yeah. It's like, hey, you want to plan something every week? And it sounds good. Yeah. Hey, you want to start soccer? Okay. I forgot I signed you up, but okay, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we had to kind of make adjustments, but thank you for joining us tonight if you're yes. with us. Um, uh, and if you've tuned in before, you know the drill. We would love to hear from you. Yes. We would love to hear your comments. Mm -hmm. Um. We've got our beverages. We've had, I've had some tacos tonight because I take this Taco Tuesday thing seriously. Yeah. And, uh, uh, oh, guess what? We also have some giveaway news. Oh my gosh, yes. Yep. And I'm going to drop a link down in the comments. Okay. Um, and so here are some of the things that you could win Cinderella tickets. Yeah. 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 It's so coming that's to the live. ballet. Yes. Yes. The, the, the Huntsville Ballet is doing Cinderella this weekend. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's going to be a lovely show. We're going to talk about that later, but you could win tickets over on our giveaway page yes. on rocketcitymom.com. And I dropped the, the link in the comments there below. So please go check that out because you're going to want to take your kids to go see this show. It's four tickets. So you can you can take, if you're a family of four, all of y'all can go. Um, so that was very generous of the of Huntsville Ballet to, yeah. to share those for our readers. So thanks. Um, so let's talk about... Easter, oh, <laughs> and Easter bunnies, and did the Easter bunny make it to your house? Um, so the grand Easter bunny made it to my house. Ooh, so grand <laughs> and so wonderful <laughs> that the regular Easter bunny didn't even have to provide this oh year. Oh gosh, that's amazing! It's so sweet of the grand Easter bunny to do that. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> what was funny is that. Uh, it was she got this little chicken and I don't know if it was like at Walmart or something, but you could put your your hand in its mouth and like it was a chicken and an egg and you put your hand in, but it was like a swinging Aww. like a little garbage pail thing. And so she kept trying to, you know how like a dog with a bone when they try to go through a fence and they get their things <laughs> yeah. up. So she would be trying to pull things out and she'd keep like, Aww. it was kind of cute. Yeah. But I was like, no, get it, get yeah. a finagle Aww. a little bit. But the Grand Easter Bunny knows that Reister eggs are our favorite. Yeah, Reister eggs. Yeah, that's hard to say. The well, it's the Reese's Cup eggs. Those are the best. Yeah, so we Except, call them our Reister eggs. I did discover uh, Butterfinger eggs this year. What? Yeah, they're little, so they're not like the East the Reese's. They're they're little. Okay, um, so you don't feel as guilty taking them, right? So you eat like ten of them. <laughs> like you do. So yes. Little little Millie. I'm gonna show a picture because oh. she looked very cute in her dress. Yeah. And so she she got to pick out all of the little uh eggs and like I, I think I posted this on Rocket City Mom, like all good southern people. We hit it in our truck tail pops and our, <laughs> our rims. <laughs> yes, the ones that were turned off. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and everything was good. We kept it safe. And I, I think I commented my mama has rules. Yeah. Kept yeah. in place. Which so. I think it was Amy that was worried about it and she's tuned in tonight. So, so hey, hey Amy. Amy. Thanks for looking out for no, Billy. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> She, she's okay. She yeah, made it. She's good. <laughs> Hopefully she's sleeping now. Yeah. I think she probably is. Well, the Easter Bunny did come to our house, too. Ooh. And not only did the kids get some stuff, but we got some stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Did the Easter Bunny bring you guys anything? Yeah. Comment and let me know. If the, if, if you're a parent and the Easter Bunny brought you something, let us know what, what they brought. Um, we got, and this is a big, big deal for us. Yeah. We got a brand new lawnmower from the Easter Bunny. <gasps> Ooh, That's like a and thing. it's not even a push mower, you no, guys. It's the ride one. It's got a cup holder. Yeah. What? It does. It does have a cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one of those zero turn? Like you can make no, it's diagonal, not that fancy. Like, okay. 
my dad has one of those, and those things are crazy. They're cool, though. But um, I, And he's got, like, this yard that's, like, acres and acres, so he needs it. But our little yard, we don't need that much. It, but, but it's a riding lawnmower, y'all. It's going to be great. I'm going to teach uh, my kids to drive that thing. It's going to be great. Or <laughs> or I could just drive it and yes. put in my podcast and just bliss out for, like, an hour. That'd be great. So, thank you, Easter Bunny Bot Bot, for yeah. bringing us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Caitlin Henderson got carpet cleaner. <laughs> Thank. Caitlin, that's a good one. That's awesome. <laughs> I would li- I would actually really like that too. Um, but we we yeah, it, lawnmower's kind of up there. Vacuum cleaner, you know. Yeah, there, I mean things are like that are important. They are leaf blower. I got really excited about insurance the other day, and I was just like, "Yep, this is adulting." <laughs> Man, it's right what it used to be, y'all. <laughs> but still, I'm gl- I was very thankful. So. Um, so let us know if the Easter Bunny brought you anything, and, um, uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about, uh, I guess we're going to talk about April, right? Okay, yeah, let's do, do it. That? Um, so since we're doing things on a monthly level now, mm-hmm. we're, it's going to, we got, we tried to go through and, and find some, um, the must, things to put on the must list, yes. things not to miss. So grab your pen. Grab your little notebook and start jotting this down. Or, you know what? Instead of taking notes, let me give you a cheat sheet because nobody got time for that. <laughs> Just go to our website at rocketcitymom.com. Yeah. We got everything there if you want to make it easy. And I'm dropping the link there, too. Um, <laughs> so we, But we did want to pull those out for you and kind of highlight a few of them. The first ones, some of these are starting this weekend. Yeah, April is jam-packed. It is. It's like the precursor to summer, and everything is is kind of getting amped up and launching for all, you know, summer in Alabama is just a wonderful time. So, mm-hmm. lots going on. Um, the shows okay. uh, are, are kind of what's kicking everything off this weekend. There are so many performances and plays to go see that are kid-friendly and family-friendly. Um, and I'm going to run, through, you know, we're going to we're gonna hit some of the high points here. But, yeah. Um, Grissom High is doing Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah. And our Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang wants you to go yeah. see the show, show, show. Except the, the <laughs> creepy, creepy child catcher. Do you remember that guy? Yeah. Yeah, he's super creepy. Um, but he's it, it's going to be great. The, the, <laughs> the kids are going to be creeped out to go. Um, really do. Yeah. No kidding, Terry. Cheat sheet all the way. <laughs> But, but, so, Grissom's doing Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It is um, all this weekend and all next weekend. Okay. So, if you miss it this weekend, catch it next weekend. Um, Alabama Youth Ballet is doing Snow White and Paquita. Paquita, Paquita. Um, but Snow White is happening, uh, where are they? They're performing this at the Playhouse at the VBC. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is also this weekend. Um, ballet is in the air. We've got another ballet. Huntsville Ballet is doing Cinderella. Yes. And Beth was, um, yeah. got to talk to Cinderella for a little while. She, okay, so her name is Madison Lynn. She's 19 years old, and she is just the most adorable girl. <laughs> um, she just has such a, like, you can just tell she loves performing, and she gave her parents all the credit. That's really She nice. said, um... I think she said in her interview, like, I was like, is there anything that your parents were right about that you kind of hate to admit that they were right about? <laughs> and she said, when they first put me in there, I didn't really like it. To be honest with you, I didn't like following directions. But they said that if you could get past that and learn to find the joy in the work that you're doing, that you would enjoy it. And huh. when she took that approach and... <laughs> and she, was, she said she was a bit of a wild child. Too. Yeah. So if yeah. you have a, a wild one, maybe... Consider some ballet classes. <laughs> Channel all that energy into ballet. <laughs> yeah, pirouette that out of here. <laughs> but you can see the whole interview with Cinderella on our site. Um, it was she's lovely, and the the performance is great. Uh, they're going to be have what was it that was kind of stood out? Um, they're going to be having a spectacular glowing carriage as yeah. well as part of the performance, and it's also silly. Like when you hear ballet, you think some some people might think it's stuffy or yeah. it's not. Um, personable, but this is this is great for kids. Yeah. They're even doing kind you of the meet and Cinderella. Yeah. yeah, you can meet Cinderella as part of the um, what are they? They're calling it the Cinderella Ball. So that's going to be right before the the performance. So you can find out again. All of this is on our site. I hate to keep saying that, but I can only hit 
a few of the high points about each event, and so mm-hmm. you can get more details on RocketCityMom.com. Um, another performance that is happening next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend, we've got Theodore Randolph is doing Wizard of Oz. Aww. Yeah. Someday you'll wish upon a star. Yes. And they've Aww. got, um, they're doing a character event this weekend, and then next weekend is the, sh- the actual, actual show, um, and that's going to be at Randolph School. Yeah. Also happening next weekend, I'm so excited. Steven Spielberg is one of the greatest filmmakers ever. So when I watched E.T. when I was little, I was just mesmerized. I was just like, phone home, everybody knows that. It's so iconic. Yeah. And some kids haven't seen it. Yeah. But I don't think my kids have seen it. Isn't that terrible? Well, I mean, you don't ever think about it because it was so iconic to you that yeah. you may not think to show it to your kids. Well, next weekend, the, uh, <laughs> my mind just went yeah, totally break. Yeah, yeah, HSO, Huntsville Symphony Orchestra. Yes, they are doing a live, you're going to watch the movie and hear the score live yes. from them. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever heard? Like, they're, so the orchestra will be playing the soundtrack, John Williams soundtrack. And John Williams also, can we just like give a shout out to old John? John Williams. <laughs> Which is, uh, incidentally, my uncle's name. John Williams? Yeah. His name? That's cool. I know, but he... Tell him thank you, John Williams. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to give him a high five next to my team. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle John. <laughs> but yes, you get to see. And the tickets really are not... They're totally worth the price. Yeah. You get to see a movie and experience it in a way and have it kind of be all-encompassing. Because when you hear the music oh. like that, you know, da da yeah, like it's just gonna, gonna so cool. soar, and you're just gonna want to get on a bicycle and ride to the yeah. moon, cram some Reese's Pieces in your mouth, <laughs> be, get on your what is it, your speaking spell? <laughs> oh, be like retro '80s heaven, y'all. Yeah, and, and Drew Barrymore, is so cute. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm watching Santa Clarita Diet right now, and it's so funny. And all I can think of is like Gertie, Gertie. <laughs> That really is a good show. Yeah. I wasn't really sure what to think of it when I first saw it's it. It's pretty funny. It's so silly and funny. Yeah. But anyway, um, thanks, Drew Barrymore. Uh, uh, so, but yeah, HSO is doing that, and that is going to be on boop, 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 where did I put April fourteenth. Yeah, seven thirty. Thank you. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> um, that's next weekend. That's right. And we will be doing uh, a ticket giveaway for that too. So keep an eye on that giveaways page. Um, and the final thing that we kind of want to talk about is. Raggedy Ann and Andy by the um, Playhouse. Fantasy Playhouse yes. is doing um, Raggedy Ann and Andy. And, and that's that, the last two weekends of the month. Yep. So we have you packed for your entertainment yeah. as far as like Not plays. to mention, concerts on the dock are starting back up. Yes. Yeah. Our favorite free, I'll try to say this very fast, free family-friendly concert. Favorite free family, favorite free family-friendly concert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, all the Reese's Pieces yeah. no biking for me. I thought you were going to the gym. <laughs> you were inspiring me so much, Caitlin. <laughs> oh, hey, lady. Hey, Maker Mama. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, oh, we got Reese eggs in our Easter basket. Reese PC eggs. Yeah, speaking of uh, aside. I just um, love peanut butter and <laughs> chocolate. Peanut butter is so good. Um, unless you're allergic and it's not so great. I know. Yeah. All right. So those are the plays and performances. And now we've got just like the standalone special, special events, events mm-hmm. and festivals. Because spring is festival time in Huntsville. Spring and fall. Yeah. It's like festival season. Um, so kicking it off this weekend, Spring Farm Days at Burrett on the Mountain. Uh, the It is one of our favorite places to pet things. Yeah. You get yeah. to see the little animals and you get to see... I call it old timey stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. It's it's one of the state's oldest museums, where it is, and it, the view is incredible. Yeah, you can spend pretty much a, a big chunk of the day up there. The trails around, if you like to hike, the trails are great to hike. Um, pack a picnic, you know, and and go and see the demonstrations. And yeah, it's it's great. But the animals are kind of the highlight of Spring Farm Days. Um, and they're bringing in some extra animals uh, this weekend. So make sure that you go check that out this weekend. Um, Botanical Gardens has several events happening. They've got their spring plant sale, which is, it may not sound, you're like, uh, plant sale. No. This, this is, is a big to-do. Yeah, this is a big deal. Um, and if you're if you keep in a garden this year, we started ours. 
Uh, they have herbs, they have veggies, they have beautiful flowers. Um, you're going to be buying them anyway. Yeah, and you're going to get to learn from experts how to keep these suckers alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, we're the experts on mm -hmm. parenting. <laughs> like, just keep the kids alive. But plants are really hard. They really <laughs> are. Like, I just got this this little thing over here, and it's my fiddle leaf fern, and it, or fit, yeah, fit, fig, fiddle leaf fig, and it's, it's, I'm, I'm worried about it. It's got some brown spots now. <laughs> Maybe so. we can sing to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does that help? I don't know. I saw that Mythbusters did a whole thing on that. Did they? Yeah. When and it was old Mythbusters with yeah. Adam? Adam. Adam mm -hmm. and uh, Larry. Adam and what's his name? Craig. I don't know. Bob. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> <laughs> but go to, and also Huntsville Botanical Gardens has their Lego exhibit. Yes. And it, I know we've mentioned this over and over and over, but it's such a great place to take the kids. And they're all over the botanical gardens. It's not just in one spot. Yes. So if you only go to the kids' area one day, it's a fun way to explore and get those steps yeah. in if you're trying Let's to be healthy. Let's find all the sculptures all throughout the garden. And guess what? What? On April 21st, they are doing the coolest thing I've ever heard. They are doing a build a lunch and movie in the garden with Lego Batman. <laughs> Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that movie, Batman? <laughs> Yes, Will and Arnett as Batman <laughs> is so great. I mean, I loved him in the Lego movie. It's anything that's that sounds. Yeah. But when he was in that one, he was just like, Say Batman is the best. <laughs> it was so good. Alfred. <laughs> okay. So and Robin was, was so fantastic. Jamie. Yeah. Jamie, Adam and Jamie. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you guys, <laughs> thanks. Thank you. You, got, you got my back. You got my back, JC. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, okay, the Lego Batman event is going to be April 21st, and this is definitely for kids. This is, you're going to watch the Lego Batman movie, you're going to have like free builds all over the place, you're going to have some lunch, so they've thought of everything, um, and, and it says there'll be plenty of active building. Do you know how frustrating it is to go to a Lego sculpture kind of situation, and your kids can't build Legos? Have, you will find out. That's okay. like, I do enough. not know. But. It is so. It is so maddening. So thank you, Botanical Gardens, yes. for getting on that and being like, "Not today. We're gonna build some Legos, Master Builders." Yeah, yeah. So mark your calendar for that. Um, we've got uh, keep it on with the special events. We've got a really cool thing happening at Next the BBC. Weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just learned today that crawfish are in season from March to June, mm -hmm. and I was um, looking through and I saw the, the crawfish bowl, heads and tails, and then I kind of wanted to, I'm like, do people really eat the heads of crawfish? Oh, no, you don't eat the heads, you suck them. Do you know how to suck a mud bug? Oh. It isn't, it this isn't. is a family-friendly <laughs> show, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? you? Okay, if you're watching... Leave us a comment. Tell us how do you suck a mud bug? You tell us is that. that. Is, are they called mud bugs? They're called mud bugs. Yeah. So okay, my my uncle is from my uncle and aunt are from Louisiana. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and they there's a there's an art form to it. You you take that once you bite the head the tail off and eat the the yummy part. Uh -huh. You suck on the head, or then there's something where you sling the fat off or something. I don't know. They'll teach you at this event. Yeah. They will. They will. And what's great is that it's free. Totally free. The food's not free, just admission. So yes. bring your money, but you get to all the music and stuff that you want. For yeah, and you're going to have kid activities. So it's just mm -hmm. going to be a nice. Nice thing for you to go and enjoy some time with your kids. Yeah. And Tons of Zydeco music. Eat a mud bug. So a mud bug. What, what's the difference between a, a crawfish and a crawdaddy? Uh, I think they're the same thing. It's oh. just where you're from. Okay. Right? If we're wrong, tell us. Yes. Tell us interwebs. <laughs> um, <clears throat> another thing happening that is near and dear to our heart is the March for Babies. April 21st. This is March of Dimes event. Um, they are having this over at UAH Charter Park. Uh, we did just publish kind of why this, this event is very important to us on rocketcitymom.com. Mm -hmm. um, we've had several of our riders, several of our contributors who have been affected um, by, you know, early, you know, with, with 
premature babies. Yeah. And um, early births and some super early births. So you can kind of hear all about that story, which is it's a really good story yeah. um, and over it, on our site. And, you know, even if this isn't something that, like, you may not think it affects you, when you read those stories and, and if you did have a healthy birth, mm. then it just makes you that much more thankful and, and it makes you... I know when I had kids, I, could, I honestly, I glossed over it. Like, I yeah. was just like, okay, cool. But now that yeah. you have that in your life, you You know you what, what that's like. Or yeah. You, you know what, what some of that experience is like. And it's just, um, it, it's, they do really great work. Mm -hmm. And they help out a lot of babies. And some babies make it. And some babies don't. And so, you know, their goal is to have as many babies make it as possible. So let's help them do that on April 21st. Um then we've got, moving on, we've got Earth Day. We've got a couple of Earth Day events. Uh, big, big celebration out at Hayes Nature Preserve mm -hmm. on April 21st. April 21st is Earth Day weekend. Um, and then there's also a celebration over at Lone Mill, mm -hmm. um, also on the 21st. Um, and then we've got the big, big spring event. We've got Panoply. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Panoply Arts Festival. Thank you. Uh, Arts Huntsville, that's happening April 27th, mm -hmm. 28th, and 29th. So it's a three-day weekend. And guess who they got to headline? Who? That guy from Bare Naked Ladies. If uh, I had a million dollars. If I had a million dollars. Yep. My kids are just now discovering Bare Naked Ladies. I'd spend it all on Rocket City, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we don't, don't take, don't give us your money. We don't take money. <laughs> unless, unless you're a business that you'd like to advertise. In which case, we can put you in touch with Krista. <laughs> Call it Krista. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, so Panoply's awesome. It's coming up April 27th. Mark your calendar. Mm -hmm. uh, get ready. Go ahead and bring your umbrella. My puppy is freaking out. I'm sorry if you're hearing that. Um, <laughs> But I think, you know, I think that does it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Are there so, crawfish are also called crawdads, freshwater lobster, mountain lobster, mud bugs, or yabbies? Yabbies. yabbies. I never heard that one. <laughs> that sounds like something from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> yeah. Get your yabbies. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, uh, there's that. Um, yeah. If you've never had a crawfish or a mud bug, Amy, you should go um, eat at Po' Boy Factory. Yes, and so they do the, I learned today, sorry, because I was trying to find all the crawdads. Usually Thursday, Friday, Saturdays are the days where you can get, you can go to like New Orleans Restaurant, oh, uh, Lunchbox, you can yeah. go to Cajun Steamer, you can go. Oh yeah, Cajun Steamer, I forgot. There, there are several uh, that you can, you can go and get some crawfish, but usually only Thursday through Saturday, and okay. most of the time is uh, at night time, so. Oh, huh. Just heads up, just yeah. so you know. <laughs> just. As I was doing my crawfish research today, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave a link because I love connecting people. Oh yeah, to stuff. Um, so yeah, <laughs> when she said my book, I thought she said my blood. <laughs> yes, Harry Potter. <laughs> that is a terrible, terrible term, Caitlin. Get the get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Only spell Harry knows apparently. Right. Oh. Come on. <laughs> it, it defeats Avocadava. Okay, we gotta go, y'all. This yeah, all is right. going on. Um uh thanks for tuning in. Yes. Um uh, yeah. So you can catch us next month. Are we doing this the first Tuesday of every month? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now sometimes the first Tuesday is on like the tenth, and when we do that, we'll do it like the Tuesday before. So we've got that all in our event calendar. We've got okay. some Facebook events. So just stay tuned. Um, if there's an event that you would like to submit to Rocket City Mom, mm -hmm. uh, to our event calendar, there's a way to do that on our website. You just go to calendar, and there is a drop-down menu that comes up, and it says submit an event. And we would love to tell um, other parents about it, especially if it's free and fun for kids. All right. So we are everywhere. We are on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on Pinterest. Come see us. We're Come always say on hi. RocketCityMom.com. And we would like to say good night. Yes. Oh, we come see us this Saturday. We're going to be at Baby Palooza. Yeah, Baby, Baby, Baby Palooza. So mm -hmm. if you have a friend that's pregnant. Yeah, um, tell them. Or even bring grandparents if you're pregnant. Oh. Because they get to learn some new things about babies that they may not have known if they're new grandparents. A lot of changes. Yes. That's true. A lot I of changes. About that. so, that's a good point. Anyway, just 
some thoughts out there. All right, we'll see you in Bye. April. Bye.